what's going on everybody long time no see I know I haven't made a video in the wild but that's because I've been down in Denver working over Christmas break at the Arcteryx store full disclosure I do work for Arcteryx so a lot of the products that I use are from Arcteryx or any of their affiliated companies but basically what this video is going to be about is my quiver for this season really I wanted to make this year the year that caps my 20th season of skiing as really the year that I took it as serious as I can and really invested in myself of like what I was using, um, making sure that I had the most efficient quiver possible so that I could be as efficient as possible on the hill. Basically what I'm going to be talking about is the gear and the gadgets and the clothing, whatever, uh, uh, related to skiing that I'm going to be using on the mountain wherever I'm at this season. That's gonna range from the boots that I got, the poles, new skis, new jackets, you know, the whole nine yards, and giving you my honest opinion of what I truly think of these products. So hopefully it'll make you uh, more confident in going for these products. Maybe you've been waiting to pull the trigger on any of these products and you've been kind of waiting for someone else's input. That's what this video is gonna be about today. So yeah, it's a good, it's a good quiver. I'm super excited to put it all to the test. Alrighty, let's talk gear. So the first piece of gear I'm gonna talk about is this watch. And as you can see, it's kind of flashing. This is a uh, heart rate watch, which is cool. It's from Suunto. It's the Sport and Spart. Uh, Sport and Spart. This is the Sport and Sport. Sp I'm terrible at English. Barton Sport watch. And uh, I've used it once on the hill. It is awesome. So next up is gloves. I just got some new Hestra gloves for Christmas from Santee Claus. These are great. Only one day so far, so I can't give a full comprehensive review. So far, warmth factor is pretty decent. I would put a light liner with these gloves, but as far as dexterity, comfortable, um, comfortability, ease of use, top notch. Really nice gloves. So you already know the pole game. Got these Solomon Mountain Lab carbon poles. These are great. These are built for touring. Um, this was kind of like a future investment kind of deal where if I did in some shape or form in the future got into that country, I'd have the poles already to go. As with the poles, you already know the boots. Uh, these were the Solomon QST Pro 100 Flex. I think it's flex. Is it flex? I think it's flex. We're gonna go with it being flex. I've got about five days on these boots so far and they're just starting to break in. Super comfortable, um, very stiff. Um, definitely not as stiff as some of the other boots in their line, I assume. Um, but yeah, still the break-in period is pretty long. I haven't taken these to a shop to get them uh, expanded because they have the custom shell. Uh, but so far I haven't felt like the need to. Overall, great boot. Next up is the ski jacket. This is the Sabre jacket from Arcteryx. Pretty awesome jacket. It has a Reco reflector in there, so if you're doing any kind of backcountry, it shouldn't be your first bet of safety, but it is additionally nice to have. Really durable, waterproof. It's what you need in a ski jacket. So ski pants are from Arcteryx as well. These are waterproof and windproof. Kind of the meat and potatoes of what you're gonna want from a ski pant is something waterproof and windproof. Um, it's got the vents, so if you get really hot, you can dump some of that heat. It's also fleece lined, kind of this like flannel backing on the inside of the pant. That's really nice if you pair it with any kind of long underwear or any kind of insulated pant. All right, so helmet and goggles are nothing new. Definitely have had these in my quiver for about two years now. This is the Variance helmet from Smith. Um, it has vents that open up, adjustable BOA, um, construction in the back so you can get a custom fit. This is an awesome helmet, super durable. I would highly recommend this one. All right, so for goggles, I have the Smith I07 goggles. Um, I've had these for about two years now. What I love about this goggle is the ease of use as far as like interchangeability of the lenses. All right, so now for skis. This is the Automatic 109 from Atomic. And this is a ski that I've been skiing on for about two seasons now. It's a really playful ski, really great on hard snow, really great in deep snow. Um, it has camber underfoot, so that's gonna give you a little bit more grip on harder snow. They have tip and tail rocker as well. That's gonna be great performing in deeper snow. These skis have the marker griffin bindings on it, very standard binding that you would get for really any kind of alpine uh, or in resort skiing. This is really what this guy is for, um, is kind of my all mountain ski. This is my daily driver. This is what I ski with almost 90% of the time. And what I'm really excited for are these bad boys. These are the Atomic Backland 
117, so the big brother to my 109. I wanted something that was going to be bigger underfoot and also bigger land. So you can see this is significantly bigger than the 109. That's what she said. This is a 193 length with 117 underfoot. So these are built for deeper snow. But also in the same breath, they are designed just like the 109s in that they're almost all mountain in the fact that they have the camper underfoot. Have not taken these out yet. Literally just got back from the shop where I just mounted these, taking them out tomorrow for a test drive. So the 117s are going to have Solomon Warden bindings on it, kind of like Solomon's version of the Marker Griffin. And then lastly are these, so heavy. These are my local Grizzlies that I've had since I was probably in high school, and they are short. They're only like 177 length, maybe like 80 or something, 90 underfoot. Um, I don't really ski on these anymore. I used to charge on these all the time, um, but they are really heavy. These have been retired, but I take these out, like usually spring skiing when there's a lot of exposed dirt and rock and I'm not really caring about where I'm jumping around or anything like that. I just want to kind of have a fun time skiing in shorts and a t-shirt and with my fanny pack. You want to see the fanny pack. Boom. This is a Von Zipper fanny pack that I found from a consignment store in Carbondale and it is just so cool. It's so fun to ride around on this in the springtime. Oh, almost forgot. Pair this guy with a speaker and you are so set for some spring skiing. But anyway guys, that is my 2018 Quiver. All the gear that I'm going to be using this year. If you want any more in-depth kind of reviews of a specific thing that I featured today, let me know down in the comments below. So other than that, go and skiing tomorrow. We're supposed to get some snow in the morning, so it should be fun. And I'm going to be testing out the backlands for the first time, um, so it should be fun. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.